Joining me today, I have Jose from Pasos por la Vidas, and he's going to speak to us about the Mexican pro-life movement. Jose, how did you become involved in pro-life? Thank you for the invitation, Fatima. I'm very happy to be here. So the first contact that I have with the, with the abortion life in our, our industry that uh, calls and and that's very that's very hard to me and what was the impression you got how did the women appear to you when they were leaving the abortion clinic i was the the, the people very sad and some some of these women uh, crying mm -hmm. and, and uh, another thing that I, I i just remember it was like the the, 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 the the boyfriends or husbands or the people who arrives to 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 today uh, to the clinic abortion, abortion clinic are uh, was was so like like angry feeling and and and, and say stay away from us don't talk us and, and I don't know I don't know it's like a sense that I can describe because it's very difficult it's like hostile and uh, uh, a sadness so it's very difficult and in your country Mexico how is abortion perceived through the media the the, the per choice has the opportunity to to to, to inspire I don't know this is correctly word, but to, to, to invite the women to make abortions, to, to, to focus just in, in their self and don't think about the children. So like in Ireland, like the, the media here would be very pro-abortion and like they don't want to hear about the humanity of the child. They don't want yeah. to talk about the possible negative effects of abortion that it has on women and families at large. So it sounds like it's quite similar in Mexico. Yeah, it's, it's the same in Mexico. Okay, and can you tell us about the March for Life? Yes, the March for Life is, starts in 2012 in Mexico City, inspired by the March for Life in the United States. Mm -hmm. So we have, we almost uh, already organized 11 marches, 11 marches in April or may depends because we want to 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 do a uh, near list for the 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 date that the abortion was legal in mexico city because in all the country are illegal okay. the abortion is not legal in in all the country just in a few states mexico have 33 states and i think it's legal in three or four states, but uh, the media wants to make believe the people that abortion is legal in Mexico, but it's not. What has the overturn of Roe versus Wade in the United States done for Mexico? Has it given hope? Yes, this, that's a very good question because it was like uh, a light around the, the, the darkness because we 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 have well this, the united states is in the frontier with mexico so all the all that happens in the united states affects mexico's policy on in all the things economic uh, immigrant uh, abortion all the things that happens in the united states all all the things that happens in the united states affects in mexico city policy so when uh, overturn Roe v. Wade, that's a message of hope to all the Mexicans because we are convinced that my generation, your generation, are going to fail the abortion industry around the world. I have this faith, and I have, and, and I'm very sure about that. And this is like the the light this, to say still working for children, still working for the families, still working for the mothers because there's a light. And we have to increase our work, increase our prayers, increase all of that I that, that we do to 
stop abortion because if the pro-life movement in the United States came, we came too. Okay, and can you tell us about your work with Activate? Activate. Activate. Yes, sure. <laughs> Activate is a platform. Mm -hmm. It's a platform that we, we develop as a tool to the, the pro-life and pro-families and pro-liberties like freedom and this kind of, of, of liberties uh, in Mexico that uh, it's like a change.org or avas.org or citizengo.org but just for Mexicans. So if you live in Ireland and you want to be in, uh, and you are interested in the policy and things that happens in Mexico, that's the way and the tool that you can use to participate. It's designed for all the Mexicans, even if they live in China or United States or Brazil or Ireland, it, it, it's a tool. And we, we made strategies with, with the organizations to design ways to resolve problems, like local problems, uh, but our, our principles <laughs> are life, family and freedom. So this is our principles, but, but we, 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 we take a, a lot of things. We, we, we have a, a lot of uh, campaigns to, to say the government to stop and do something about the feminists. Mm -hmm. the fe we have a lot of feminicidians. I don't know if the, the word, but it's the, the people that kill women just because they are women. And, and we have a lot of feminists in, in Mexico, so uh, we have to, 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 to involve all the population, all the citizens, and make to, uh, and invite to, to do something about that. That's, that's a, a very good example, but we have a, a, a pro-life uh, campaigns in local situations, uh, I, I, I told you uh, 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 that in Mexico the abortion is legal just in a few states. Mm -hmm. So we th this platform, this tool helps to stop the, the pro-abortion initiatives in local states. To kind of combat them with the pro-life message, is that yes. right? Yes. Okay. How do you get younger people involved in the pro-life movement? We have a, a, a lot of volunteers. The, all, all the volunteers in all the march that, are, that, are, that we organize have a lot of young people involved. So that's wonderful because we, we, we thought and we saw that the young people that are coming to us uh, to be volunteers in, at the march, it's a very good sign to, to, to know about the, 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 that the young people wants to do something in the pro-life movement, wants to involve. And a few years ago, we don't have any or a lot of groups of young people. Right now, we have like four or five national uh, groups of young people fighting for life, fighting to stop abortion in our country.